Hello everyone. Today we are going to make electronic snowflakes. Uh, this is my 2023 holiday snowflake entry for the current contest on printables.com, which is owned by Prusa Research, the 3D printers company. I have linked that below. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to print a snowflake and we are going to add LED lights to it. The first thing you need to do, you need to print the branches of the snowflake. Uh, the snowflake consists of six branches. The branches are contained in the snowflake.stl file as well as the 3MF uh, model file that you can find on printables.com. You need six copies of the branch in order to make a snowflake. The snowflake has a center. Uh, the branches are attached to that center. I added a snowflake center, uh, .stl file to printables.com. However, you can replace the center by a standard PVC pipe with an outside diameter of 70 mm if you have one. That's why I made my snowflakes. Um, I made three snowflakes, as we can see. Uh, and I think that the PVC is going to be sturdier than PETG, uh, especially if you're going to have them outside in the winter winds. So I would recommend PVC, but if you want, you can uh, use the Snowflake Center STL and then print your center of the Snowflake. In order to assemble the Snowflakes, uh, it's super simple. You only need uh, six M5 by 18 bolts and nuts. Uh, I added Grover washer for good measure because I wanted the assembly to be strong. I also added a, a small layer of cardboard on my PVC pipe. That's what you see on the pictures uh, because it was not exactly fitting. I don't know exactly why, but my 70 millimeter PVC pipe was not 70 millimeter. It was 71 or 69 or whatever. Uh, that's the problem of the hardware store from time to time. Anyway, at this point, you can paint the snowflakes uh, with silver glitter paint. Uh, we did so and it actually turned great. Uh, we, we put actually two layers, one, one layer of silver, one layer, a layer of uh, glitter. The circuit, uh, the electronic circuit, uh, is explained in a PDF document. And I'm going to go very briefly about this. Uh, you need uh, uh, 84 lights per snowflakes. Those LEDs are three color RGB and are individually addressable. Uh, the type as well as the diameter is very important because the diameter of the holes in the branches, once you print them, are going to be 12 mm. So you need something that fits in it. Actually, most LED strips that you can buy online are going to be 12 mm ones. So you, so now uh, you have to be careful because there's a five volt kind as well as 12 volt ones. I prefer the 5 volt type because the Arduino is running at 5 volts. I could power the Arduino and the strips with the same power supply. I actually use a, a USB cable to power mine, um, to power my Arduino because I want to be able to reprogram it, for instance, if I decide to, uh, to add a new pattern. Uh, but you could actually uh, use the 5 volt uh, power supply to power the Arduino. You cannot use the Arduino to power the LED strips because of the amperage and there's too, way too much current. Uh, and I explained this uh, at length in the PDF, at the end of the PDF. Uh, that said, the electronics is quite simple. Uh, I have a small schematics in the PDF. Um, there are actually only two wires going from the Arduino to the LED, to the LED strip. One wire goes from pin 7 on the Arduino to the data port of the LED strip. The other cable, which you need, is the ground cable. And, that's, and the reason you need this is that you're not going to be able to drive the data through the data cable if you do not have a common ground between the LED strip and the Arduino. So even if you use the USB uh, power uh, supply to power the Arduino, you're going to uh, still have to have at least two wires going from the Arduino to the first snowflake. To assemble the LEDs is very simple uh, as they clip in place. So you just clip them one by one. So you add them one by one in the proper order that you like. The first branch to the second branch to the third to the fourth branch to the fifth branch to the sixth branch. It's actually going in circle on mine. And I go from the bottom of the branches to the top of the branches. I go from the right side to the left side and go back down and then I go to the next branch. It's very simple to assemble. 
the Arduino code is posted on printables.com and I must uh, say one thing that code is not fully mine it's actually the first LED 100 line of code demo reel that's what it's called which was written by Mark Kriegsman in uh, December 2014 uh, and I've modified it uh, this past month in November 2023rd you can actually modify it. I explained that the, all the parameters uh, that I use uh, in the code, they are inside the PDF document uh, that I posted on printables.com. The comments also explain what the various parameters are. On printables.com, you're going to find all the 3D printed code, all the C++ code in order to run the Arduino, and you will have the PDF document on how to assemble the snowflake. I hope you are going to have as much fun uh, building this as I had, and uh, it's really a riot, and that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.